what's up everyone welcome to lecture 31 in today's video we'll see what are scopes and uh, uh, what are the global scope and the local scope and how can we update the value for a global scope inside the functions so uh, let's get started with the video right away so uh, first of all let me uh, create two functions here so let's say if i define my function first function name is function one it does not take any uh, uh, parameters what i'll do is and what it I, I, inside this function i have the value of x i have defined inside the this function inside the value of x and this function when i call this function it returns this x value right now i'll create another function here as well now here let's say define function 2 and this also does not take any parameters and it will uh, print the value of x here for me Achha, you might get confused between uh, the difference between return and print uh, i will tell you in a few coming videos but uh, for now you can understand both just to print the results which are uh, which we are uh, expecting which we are expecting it to give so let's so both functions return me the value of x simply you can understand like that okay uh, now now let's say let's call the function so this this is the execute that i have executed the cell now i'll call the first function so function one see let's see what is it uh, what it is returning it is giving me the value of five great it should give me the value of five right now let's say i call the function two it is giving me error it is saying me that name x is not defined but why we have defined the x equals to 5 right why it is showing this kind of error this is because this x equals to 5 we have defined inside the function 1 only so the scope of this scope of this x equals to 5 is only limited up to the function 1 so it will not give any value of function 2 function 2 will not return us the x value even if we want to print x even if we want to let's say where's the code even if we want to print x it will still give me error because it will say that x is not defined because x will only be uh, um, uh, x will only will be valid value when it is inside when it is run inside the function value one so whenever we run the function only then we'll get the value of x great so uh, this is the difference i have already told you why this is happening because the scope uh, scope of x is limited to only function one great i have also printed the x this is i have also shown you so i'll delete this cell now uh, these kind of variables are called local variables these type of variables which are defined inside a function are known as local variables pretty simple nothing to get confused with okay now let us uh, introduce the concept of global variable what global variable is so uh, let's say i have function again define function one inside this i have the value of x equals to five and it also returns me this very same value of x but before defining this function what we have done is i have created a variable already which is x equals to 10 by same name so this x equals to 10 will be known as a global variable and this x equals to 5 will be known as a local variable because i've already told you what local variable is so a local variable it means that this x equals to 5 will have only the scope up to the this function only that is function 1 but uh, but this x equals to 10 has a global scope i'll show you the difference between them say let's say if i call the function one what x value it, it should return me it is returning me a five because inside function one i have the value of x equal to five but if i simply write print x right if i simply write print x it will uh, give me the value of 5 no it should give me the value of 10 just a second there's some error yes it is it's giving me a 10 i had i forgot to execute this cell and uh, that is why it, it was showing me error so print x did now because 
when i'm calling x i'm not calling any function i'm just asking python to print the value of x it will definitely go to a global scope so this is the difference between a, a global scope and a local scope now let's say i want to uh, change my global scope and update the value how can i do it then i'll i'll re i'm just copying this uh, code again now what i want to do is i want to make this x equal to 5 global so to do that what i'll do you just introduce uh, here you write global and global x so it, it you are instructing python that when you run the function one uh, it will uh, take every x inside this is as a global x so now this will act as a global x so now uh, for give you an example if i run now function one function one it should give me value of five which is very pretty obvious but if i print the value of x instead of giving 10 now it will give me the value of five initially it was giving me value of 10 okay i think i have forgot to initialize it again now if you print x yes it is giving me value of five one more thing uh, you you can notice here is let's say i recopy this again and this time i'm calling uh, see here i what i did was after execution of the cell what i did was i called for function one first and after that i i called the print function of x now this time what i do is i call the function i i call the print value of x first one so let's see if it is printing 5 or 10 it is still printing 10 because I haven't initialized function 1 yet because uh, this value will be converted into global only when this function will be called because after after calling this function only after that we are getting this uh, instruction of converting the x equal to 5 into global right so that is why uh, this uh, and now if I call function 1 let's say now if I call function 1 it will give me uh, 5 but now if I call print x again now because function 1 has been run this x equal to 5 has been converted to a global value of x and hence this time we will get the value of 5. So I hope you are uh, clear with these uh, scopes of uh, global and uh, uh, variable scopes. This is sometimes becomes very important in future in future videos uh, we can see how can uh, we can use for uh, local variables and uh, uh, global variables. So this is pretty much from this video guys. And uh, thank you for joining. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.